Oh, 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 hi. Excuse me. <laughs> I was just really surprised to see people on there either. What am I watching? I'm trying to get my myself caught up. Here we go. Here we go. We'll get there. Nice to see you all. Nice to. Sorry, I'm, I'm about like two minutes late. Hopefully, you can allow that. Okay, I can see comments, which is a good start. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Excited to be here with you tonight. Now, before I forget, I've got to tell you, there's going to be a stamp sale in like a couple of hours. It starts 11 o'clock tonight, going right the way through to tomorrow, to 10 to 11 tomorrow. And you get 15% off any cling stamps. So please do message me, get in touch, send a pigeon, drop me a line text me whatsapp gmail no 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 just drop me an email if you want, if you want to place an order okay because i'll be putting an order in tomorrow so let's talk about tonight tonight i have technique for you which i've not um played with for oh, a long while a long while but we did do it in my class recently so that was fun i'll show you a sneak peek this was me testing testing the waters I'll show you that in a minute. Nice to see you. Now, just a disclaimer, the internet is a bit dodgy tonight apparently. Um, I was on a Zoom call earlier and Matt came in and said, oh, the internet's been a bit funny and it is a bit stormy outside, so we shall see. So we're just going to carry on like normal in the hope that it will be okay. Thank you, thumbs uppers, already. Okay. Let's get you turned around. I'll say hello to everybody in a minute. Here, you can stare at this for a minute. I know lots of people have done this already, but have you seen me do it? No, you haven't. <laughs> so a lot of people are doing this technique with gorgeous leaves because it's a naturally good stamp set to work with with this technique because it is a solid image. I'm sorting out my picture so I can see more clearly. It's a solid image, which is great for doing this technique. And I want to maybe try it out with another stamp set also. There we go, I can see you now. Right, good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Esther and Starlets. That's nice. You're all Starlets, everybody. Good evening, Karen. I feel like I've, I spoke to you already, Karen. <laughs> and Levine. I feel like I've seen you already. Hey, Rosie, nice to see you. Wendy, um, I hope you've got, uh, Got through your family visiting today. Good morning, Monica and Vicky. Oh, I've said Vicky already. Katrin, hello, Cindy, Deborah, Ruthie. Oh, I made it to live Jess's videos. Liz, hi, hi, Katrin. Whoop, whoop. Okay, hi, Glenna. Hey, Glenn. Deborah, Janice. Everybody's in the house tonight. Christine, Jackie. I'm starting to say your names all over again. Okay, let's. Let's do this. Now, I also bought this out because I thought maybe I could have a play. I wasn't going to do a one sheet wonder, but um, hey, who knows? <laughs> who knows? And there's this on my desk as well. I'm a bit overexcited with all the possibilities. So let's get these really dry wet wipes. <laughs> let's have a look. Now, if you didn't want to use wet wipes, you can use felt. I was wondering about a chamois, but I think that would be... Um, or you could use maybe a cloth, like a flannel, a wet... Flannel, I don't know. I've not explored the possibilities personally. So how many I get how many am I getting out here? So in class, I think I did like two and I doubled them over. But because I'm gonna have a wider area, I'm gonna go, oh let's go three and fold it in half. And we've got a nice kind of surface to play with. So <clears throat> hands up if you haven't tried this technique before if you haven't first time catching me live says brenda please give brenda a really warm welcome brenda if you'd like to share with us where you've come in from that'd be great we'd love to find out a bit more about you now oh the possibilities of the colors okay let's i want to do something a little bit i've got my mind is whirring I'm coming in here with some misty moonlight, giving it about two squishes, technical term. I'm even going in with, what colour is this? Fresh freesia. I'm going to do something a little bit wacky. And this is polished pink. And I'm going in a circle because I want it to go on my circle stamp. 
<laughs> I'm excited. This might be an absolute flop, but rarely, rarely it's a flop. Okay, and then let's think about some floral colours. Let's, oh, I'm going to use some in colours. Let's go bumblebee. I'm going to do some stripes now. I'm going a bit off-piste. I'm going to just do what my mind is telling me to do. Um, hmm. Cinnamon side is calling me. I don't know why, but there you go. All right, you can come in on the mix. Now, normally, you don't have to worry about putting it in a shape. Normally, you would do something like this, and I'll show you. So normally you do a few blobs, I say normally, what's normal, right? <laughs> um, let's get a bit of yellow in here again. We'll stick to some sort of colour palette. And I really like some orange or red, a nice deep, oh Merlot, Merlot's gone, I'm here. Let's use a little bit of Merlot or Merlot, depending. And I fancy, oh, should I go, let's just chuck in a bright green because we can. Because we can. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. So my idea was, oh, where's he gone? <laughs> He's here. To maybe use this big circle. I might have to use this as an experiment sheet if it doesn't work out. So I'm going to go straight in there, give him a big blob around in that circle. Oh, ready? Oh, well, that's very faint. <laughs> that's okay. It looks, it, it looks rather dodgy. <laughs> let's, let's just... I didn't realise how dodgy it looked, but there we go. We'll just keep stamping. Why is this not working? I think I might need some more ink and I could do with some... Some mats. I, I think I wasn't very generous with the colour. Do you know what? There's always the emergency side. Let's do that again, but add some more ink. It's not wet enough. Uh, wet wipes aren't wet enough. So, thanks. Who said that? Deborah. Let's get the one that says water. Let's make it... Let's just turn it over with our experiment side. I think I haven't put enough ink, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> it's getting super excited. I need to get some more soggy, some new uh, wet wipes, I think. Let's try again. I, I don't give up that easily, I'll have you know. Stick with me. This is a process. Welcome, Sharon. I don't recognise your name. Are you, are you new to my channel? And Linda made it. Now, where did I put the, the blue one? It's disappeared. Where's Misty Moonlight disappeared to? Oh. There you are. Hiding. Wet. Let's try again. If not, we'll just abandon this and I've got another plan up my sleeve. Okay, no, don't like that. Let's just try the other ones. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. But like I said, there's a plan B, so I'm not too fussed. Good job there is a plan B, isn't it? I want to try out, let's try the leaves. Perhaps the ink is being wicked down through the layers. Okay, that's nice. That works. And <clears throat> May I know what it is. It's the stamp. Because it's a distinctive stamp, it's not going to pick up. It's not red rubber. So, and you've got all these layers. So when you come to normally stamp this type of stamp, it um it's supposed to give you shades. So it's because it's not red rubber. It kind of just took me a little while to figure that one out. Let's just see what this one looks like. Okay, fine. 
Don't worry about my hot mess. Let's turn him over. Why, welcome, Dana. Nice to see you. Right. Quite like, maybe we should just use this one here. We could try different ones. Let's just do this. That's pretty. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> Let's try this one. Oh, that's nice. And that didn't come out as well. I just need, I do need to maybe saturate it with ink more. I don't know if, if I go, oh, it's right in front of me. Because I don't want it to be all, Ellie, do you know what, you've not missed a thing. I've been faffing. Okay, here goes. I'm going to stick to that colour palette and see if we can get something out of this. Oh, <laughs> Deborah said, I never would have thought it was the stamp. Well, I, I don't know what made me think about it. I just thought, oh, yeah. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, let's get about the gorgeous leaves, shall we? <laughs> like embroidery from here. Wow, that's, that's how it's supposed to look, of course. <laughs> so if you've just joined, I've got a makeshift ink pad here that's made out of wet wipes. And I've used my re-inkers that you would normally use to um, re-ink your ink pads. And um, Stampin' Up have got all the lovely colours of ink available. Loving the colour. I don't even know what colours I've used now. I have to rewind to find out what colours I've used. It is a lovely effect. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to carry on my little triangles. So it just sometimes takes a bit of experimenting to find out what works and what doesn't work. Okay, this creativity doesn't always come with first successes. Hey, somebody write that down as a good quote. Creativity doesn't always come with first successes. Does that make sense? Like... You're not always necessarily going to get a brilliant outcome. Somebody remember that for me and you can you can put it on a t-shirt for me and like you know have it as my slogan. <laughs> I love this already. I don't want to spoil it, but I, I am gonna add more. Just saying, just warning you. I want to add in this lovely wood grain and I'm not going to I'm just gonna use that same Okay, let's start off in the corner just in case we don't we don't like it too much. I don't that was Merlot, Merry Merlot, Granny Apple, Bumblebee, and what was the other one? Yes, that's better. We're gonna grungy up a little bit. <laughs> so those of you who are a bit adverse to Oh, I know there's some people that like to keep it simple and just like not have it too uh, too patterned. But I'm sorry if I'm if I'm well, I'm not apologising at all. <laughs> you have to be creative to be creative. I love that. <laughs> Indeed, you do have to be creative to be creative. Happy little accidents these are. Okay, there's a big gap in here. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to just bring this up to the camera. I hope that, that picks up the colours for you. Okay. Now, I don't really want to add... i tell you what it does have is a pretty sprig. It has got this pretty sprig in here. Um, and, of course... Because Glenn is here, we've got some dotage. So I think I'm going to leave this one as it is because I quite like it, you know. <gasps> oh, the dotage. Oh, it just makes it. <gasps> now, I've done it on very vanilla because the plan was to do 
um, use the leaves and with the leaves and autumnal colours I, I prefer it on the vanilla it just looks a bit more I don't know you know when you associate certain colours with certain things and just and look this goes on and on and on like Ariston <laughs> do you remember that advert hello Elaine hello Re do you pronounce it Raylene Raylene Hi Elizabeth, sorry I've got I got a little bit carried away with what I was doing that I forgot to look up on the screen. <coughs> Dottage does always make things better, you're right. Um, please, hands up if you're new here today. Aloha. Please let us know if it's your first time because you'll get a lovely warm welcome. I don't want to spoil this now, so I won't. <laughs> um... It, um just thinking. I do want maybe something in between, so I'm not going to spoil it, but I just want to add some more sprigs. I need to find the right sized. Am I going fuzzy? Now, with these, I think I just want these floating. Well, I'm going to have them going in different directions so that when I come to cut down the paper it doesn't matter which direction they're in. It's your first time today, does that count? <laughs> Says Reed. Reed, you're an old hand, it doesn't count. <laughs> Especially multicoloured dotage. I mean, right? When have you ever seen multicoloured dotage before? Before now, I should say. And it's such a like a subtle colour that you can just keep going over and over. It's great. Now, did you know, incidentally, <laughs> that you can actually share this broadcast out while I'm live? If you scroll across, it'll give you the option to share several places so you can share it to facebook youtube and even pinterest so if you wanted to pin it and come back to it later for reference you can just saying okie tokily i like it it's very kind of vintage vibe isn't it you saw it here first right ellie hi oh, geek how did you get the colours? I'm using a wet wipe and we put the re-inkers on there. I might give this one a go. Let me bring in my tester piece. <laughs> because this is pretty too. Um, and let's try with this colour, see if this is enough. I might... Okay, we could do an autumnal one. I think what I might do is start, oh look at that, it's so pretty, look at this, look, that in itself is really pretty. Um, okay, I shouldn't just stamp all over one sheet like that. Let's bring, oh, 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 my brain is working. Okay, as I promised leaves, let's, let's do a gorgeous leaves one, but I think... I'm going to start again with the non-wet wet wipes. <laughs> I did this in class the other day and yeah. Oh no, what we did is we picked it up and we went around the edge. That's what we did. That's why we've got inky fingers. So I'm gonna lay down another wet wipe. Didn't come very prepared, I just grabbed what was on there table from class and I think you know when the packet gets left open oh that's the end of the packet anyway right okay so I'm going to fold this over I'm going to give it a spritz of water when you've finished you can remove the wet wipes and lay the card on top of the ink left on the surface of the stamp case oh I only just read that why didn't I see that before and um, the other thing you could probably do let me just show you with my 
is you can probably get some prints out of this. So if I just push that down. Oh, look, <laughs> that does look so dodgy. Let's not do that one. <laughs> oh, look how cool that is. Wow. Where's that other one? Oh, we can have loads of fun. Right. Um, let's move. Let's move that one. <laughs> it's making me giggle. Right. Let's move on swiftly. I like the idea of the merlot. And it's not a colour I would have necessarily chosen. I'm going to go for mango, merlot and mossy. Or, or mmm sounds. I might even chuck a bit of mmm magenta. And what else begins with mmm? Let's have a look. Is there any other colours? Oh, I'm wearing. Is there any other colours that begin with M? Oh, they've gone really fuzzy. It's annoying. Okay, can you guys see? I've got Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Merry Mellow, and Magenta Madness. You've not tried this yet. Oh. Giddy Esther, you never know what happens with giddy stuff. <laughs> Misty Moonlight, well done. Uh, Ellie gets a virtual star. Misty Moonlight. My brain went all of a sudden dead and I couldn't think of any more M's. Oh, Mint Macaron is another one. Kind of cheated though, because I did look at the labels. Okay, that'll do, Donkey, that'll do. I don't want to kind of, you know. Right, the other thing you've got to be careful of is um, muddy, a um, muddy look. So I've laid down a ready colour, so next to it you can afford to put down the yellow because it will make you orange. And you know what, it doesn't have to be blobs, you could, you know. And then near that I'm going to put the magenta because the pink goes into, is a part of the red family. And, <clears throat> and then we could go with the the blue near the pinks and the purples because it's next to each other on the colour wheel and then just being a bit more careful with the greens so I'm going to put a splodge of green near the blues I got mango, yep. Yeah. Be careful not to make mud, yep. Yeah. I'm trying hard. Linda, I'm trying. We'll see how we do. <laughs> this is quite a bit wacky, but let's just. We're enjoying ourselves. Well, I am. I don't, about... don't know about you, Lot. <laughs> okay, now. Oh, this is calling me, this one. But I don't want to go too wild with the. Oh, why not? We're here now. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> Let's get out my experiment piece, I think. Where are you? Come back, come back. Pull the big one. It's a little bit soggy. Okay, here goes. So basically, it's a you're using it as, a, as an ink pad. So let's just have a... <gasps> Um, I think it'll have to be the flowers again. You see, that's not going to really... That with the leaves, just saying, it's going to look a little bit wacky, isn't it? Okay, place your votes. Do you want to use the leaves or do you want to use Shaded Summer? Leaves or flowers? I'll leave it to you. I'm going to have a cup of tea. <laughs> oh, Ellie says leaves. Oh, Karen says leaves. Leaves would look awesome. Flowers, says Deborah. The leaves have won already. Okay, so 
I just I think I'm going to leave that out for now because I don't want that to drown out the uh, I'm going to have some rainbow leaves happening. Let's actually make a bit of a pattern, shall we? <laughs> Rather than too random. Now, one that I don't tend to do is a diagonal. So let's do this. Try my best to... Now, I am going in and picking up the ink each time. You could probably get away with two impressions, let's try. But it really does fade it off, okay? So we might as well. Now, I'm trying desperately not to make it too uniform, but I am following a line because this will eventually be cut down. And I want space to put some other leaves as well. This is so colourful. I uh, don't know how long I'm able to watch. Oh, no worries. That's okay, Reed. I can smell something delicious coming from the kitchen. Mm. Smells like takeaway, though. Maybe my husband will leave me some. <laughs> now, I like, I do like these sprigs. Remind me about those. And I like using these little ones, so just remind me. And let's come in with, or we could do some, no, we'll do one at a time. Get carried away again. Okay, here goes. So we're gonna follow our, let's try double stamping that. They look like feathers, don't they? So pretty. Do you guys like it? How random was that to use colours that began with M? Who knew, right? <laughs> now tell me, for some people this might be a bit too OTT. Is anybody cringing out there going, what is she doing with those colours? What on earth? Is anybody cringing right now? Ellie thinks it looks stunning, which surprises me because this is way out of Ellie's comfort zone. <laughs> Can I go over that one? Katrin loves it. Oh. There we go. Carol thinks it's pretty. She, she does say, wow, that's pretty, actually. Give her her chew. <laughs> Janice says it's ab fab. Oh, huh. we've got likers. I mean, this is this is right up my street. I love, like, the colours. Um, I'm just, you know, experimenting and just seeing where it takes you. It's a bit of a uh, tripping a leaf, <laughs> taking you on a leaf trip. <laughs> Very spring-like for Aussies and Kiwis. Okay, there we go. Monica loves the colours. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh, Deborah, but she says scratched cornea. Vision is blurry, so it looks even better, like looking at my Christmas tree without my glasses. <laughs> Oh, Deborah, honestly. Um, now, Raleen, Raleen, please let me know how to pronounce your name. I, want, I get myself all in a pickle. Perhaps something in a solid purple would complement this. Oh, check Ellie out. She's, she's got, got some ideas now. Now, I'm just going to extend these now because we've got ourselves in a row. But it's nice just to have some spriglets to advance the no we don't want it too set in stone these are leaves after all don't want it too scribed if you can be giddy i can be silly oh silly's fun i think that's why i work with kids <laughs> like you could be silly and get away with it like you know I mean, what other job can you do that? 
Pat and Ben are stamping up demonstrator. <laughs> Raylene. Oh, I got something right for once. Raylene, that's such a pretty name. Now, if you think she's taken ages just to stamp one sheet, these are also known as one sheet wonders. And um, I, I learnt this technique of stamping like this from my sister at Art Full Stamping. She might be lurking in the shadows, sometimes she does. She watches while she's getting herself ready for her life. <clears throat> um, and it's, it's, it's really fun because once you've kind of settled on an idea, you just then go for it. Thank you. Raylene says she loves my work. That's really kind. That The colours turned out beautiful to be a combination. I know it's getting slightly muddy now, but that's okay. I'm going to keep stamping with it. I'm going to cover up some of these stems. I don't necessarily want the stems in the picture. I mean, I could have done autumnal colours, but that would have just been what everyone else has done. And I'm not everybody else. <laughs> oh dear. If you hadn't realised already. <laughs> I'm having a whale of a time. I don't know about you guys. I appreciate you watching and staying. Okay, now I think that will do. There is a point where I do actually need to stop. Um, but let's have a look. I wanted to add, just keep stamping, right? Right, Deborah? That's okay, we don't mind muddy spriglets. I had a, a bit of a tongue twister there. <laughs> muddy spriglets. Just going to bring this up so you can get the experience, the beauty. And the versatility that you can get with, oh, dotage, thank you. I'm just going to add in these leaves because these are rather cute. And these just add some at the summit. Oh, look, look at that. It just, I love it. It just adds these kind of falling leaves. You know, like when, a, well, it's autumn really, when the leaves shed and they just fall. And it's a great way to, cover up any boo-boos. Not that I've got any, of course. <laughs> oh dear. A bit high on life tonight. It's not a bad thing. I had a Zoom. I think that's made me happy. I had a Zoom with some demonstrators and... Is Levine in here? There you are, Levine. Levine was there too. That made me happy. Um, and Caroline says, wow, just had the chance to come in. <laughs> Which leaf set are you using? This is Gorgeous Leaves. Um, <clears throat> look, I've got the wrong stamps in the wrong one. Gorgeous Leaves. This is the cute baby stamp. Always look out for the babies, all right? They are not to be missed. They have their place in stamp sets. Just saying. Hello, Kelly. Which leaf? Oh, I've answered that question. <laughs> right, just trying to cover up any little glitches. Stamping glitches. It's a good name for it, isn't it? Now, I am keen to leave some white space, believe it or not. <laughs> Um, okay, dotage. <laughs> Why on earth I sing the Smurfs when I'm humming, I do not know. <laughs> it's, it's not necessary that I like the Smurfs. It's just one of those easy tunes to pick up, right? I'm wanting you to be able to see what's... Do you want a bit of a close-up? Because you've seen... There you go. Oh, Vicky's got her order in, so let me just recap. There is a stamp sale happening. 
tonight and I'm placing an order tomorrow. So um, <clears throat> if you'd like an order and if you're in the UK, France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands, and would like any stamp sets that are in the sale, then please get in touch. Or if you'd like to just place an order from my online shop, by all means, get in touch. Don't be afraid of leaving white space, Deborah's reminding me. It will be lovely when you chop it up. I hope so. I hope it will work out. And do you remember, when you chop things down, they're not going to be as full on and in your face. You'll get a small glimpse of, um, you know, a partial bit of this whole set. Now, I don't want to overdo the dots. I don't mind a few. I just don't want to overdo it. Okie dokily. I think I'm going to leave it there, but I am just going to bring in... <coughs> Me. I've got a couple of templates here because this gives you an idea of what it looks like if you cut it down. So if I was to cut these into four, and you can't actually see it, let me just draw my lines. I can see them, but you probably can't. Hi Subu, wow, what a beautiful picture to open you up to. Oh, thank you. Right. Don't be afraid, oh, I've had that bit. Sorry, I'm repeating. I'm trying to keep up with comments and sometimes I end up reading them again and then reading them out. There you go. You can see what you're doing now. Now, I probably wouldn't chop this in four. Saying that, I don't mind it at all. Um, here's another template. Now, if I cut, if I chop this like this. Wow, thank you, Vicky, for asking. Where do customers go to shop with me? They go to www.stampinstar. Um, what's the word? Acknowledge it. Right, this ideal because you get two four six eight cards out of this everybody gets a little piece like that look and each piece would fit in nicely on its own as a card so if I was to chop this down into eight pieces everybody will get a small element so you might need to add a bit more into that one but that's quite a good what is that on there a good little rhinestone okay so let's bring in the other one that we did same with this one let's have a look this one's nice and busy so again you could afford to chop it down into eight pieces but I, I probably wouldn't let's have a look I could cut it down into four I think it suits that a little bit more um, because each piece gets something and then there'd be space to add sentiments so that one would probably be a four this one we could chop up more Good bit of rhyming slang for you there. Right, who's up for doing one more? I could have done that on the white. That would have looked pretty. Let's get out some whisper white. Or shall we do um, vanilla while we're on a vanilla trip? You, you decide and I'll, I'll hang back for the minute. Um, and I th I'm just going to think about run out of wet wipes oh what's happened there oh i shut the case case closed haha <laughs> get it um i want to do a different one let's come back to this this funny one here we'll do some pinks and purples so karen's after another vanilla yes for another and on vanilla <coughs> for Jackie. <coughs> Excuse me. When you do lots of talking. <coughs> Ellie says, would it work with wet kitchen roll? Ellie, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> um, I would say, if you did it on kitchen roll, 
then you might end up with the fibres on the stamps but I would give it a go find out if you can so another envelope I brought another vanilla my paper's got a bit damp down there but we'll use that you are such a tonic I'm chuckling out loud tonight <laughs> I'm glad somebody is <laughs> no. it makes me happy to know that I'm making you happy right we're going purple so gorgeous, but a gorgeous grape. Um, oh, I always make you laugh. Okay, I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> I've lost. Oh no, Misty Moonlight was in here. Okay, dokes. Good. Oh, right. Let's. I'm going to just, you know, make this less booby-like, okay? I don't want to get into trouble for saying naughty words on YouTube, so... I'm just going to add some other colour to this. Now, this might be a bit muddy, but you know what? Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well... We shall go for it now. It might look as if it's just like black splodges, but it comes to life when you go and stamp it. Now, another thing to tell you is Ruth has done this technique before, but if you want to be a little bit more specific as to where the flowers lie down, I'm just looking for my other stamp set. So, for example, if you were to use this long one here. If you wanted to be a bit more specific as to where the colours go, I'm just trying to find a block. So say you wanted, put, I can't do it, I've run out of doofers. Uh, say if you wanted that flower to be purple, you can drop your ink directly on it. And then if you wanted those flowers to be pink and the, and the leaves to be green, you can drop the ink directly on it. Put it down onto a wet wipe and then it will leave the impression of where you need to add more ink, okay? And then you can just add more ink to those spots so that if you want to keep doing your flower in those particular colours, you can. I hope that makes sense without actually showing you. Right, I'm going to bring my uh, experimental sheet back in. And here goes. Wozers. Wow, I was just good trousers. Here we go. Hold on tight for the ride. This is going to be a good run. I hope. Right, for this, I'm thinking maybe a few stripes. Like a. Okay, we're just going to do it. I'm not going to overthink. And I'm going to use this stamp as well. I want you to see, but um, whenever we say, have you got a colour suggestion, you usually go for purples and blues. Do you know that? <laughs> Don't think I've noticed. <laughs> I don't really want that um, stem at all. We'll just go with it. And then my little spriglets. You can just really spread these out a bit more. That would make a pretty wreath. Oh, Deborah, yes, it would. It would indeed. Oh, you're going to make me stay longer if you make suggestions like that, young lady. Deborah, that's not allowed, right? <laughs> you're not allowed to make good suggestions like that. <laughs> okay, let's come in here. 
in here. And here. Listen to your elders, she says. Yeah. Oh, do we go? Oh, let's come down here. I'm just going to overlap it. This is the great thing about this sprig stamp is that you can just extend that arrangement. So I am live now. If people have clicked on the live button and wondered what the fuss is about, I'm using wet wipes. Can you believe it? Wet wipes to create um, some pretty papers. You might never have seen not only this technique, you might not have seen stamping before. Watch me make a wreath. <laughs> the mini trio leaves would look great on a wreath. Mini trio leaves. Oh yes, those little ones. Yes, they would. Right, let's stop jumping ahead of ourselves. <laughs> now, now, children. Uh, let's do some more here. Here. And mix it up. Put one of you in there. One of you up there. I could do with. Hmm. Yeah, let's. One there. One sheet of paper at a time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just realised I forgot to take my medication. <laughs> just starting to get a bit achy then. I'm just like, oh, just goes to show I don't need it as much, hopefully. <laughs> I knew what you meant. You're thinking coral wreath, not <laughs> different kind of wreath. It's all in the spelling, isn't it? So this I would keep fairly simple and just cut down into three cards. One, two, three. And you know, you don't want to go hiding all the stamping that you've done. <laughs> no meds, no wreath for you. <laughs> go take your meds. I'll be okay. I'll be gone shopping and I get to stay and watch. Oh, you, you got a good deal there, didn't you? Okay, I'm going to bring in some dots and spots. Ooh, that's a bit muddy. Let's try that again. If it doesn't work out, we're not going to use you. It's a bit better. I'm just going to try and fill in. I don't want too much to detract, but you want it to attract, not to detract. I'm just going to fill in some of those gaps. So it's getting a little bit more diluted now. It's not a bad thing because you want it's nice to have the different strengths of colour. How are we doing on the old time? Okay. I think that is that one. Just checking. Might as well use up the ink. Okay. Right, I think, do you know what? I'd love the idea of doing a wreath, but I could really do it with some new wet wipes. I might hold that off for another day. And what would be nice is to do an autumnal wreath. If people are up for that, I might try and remember that for next week, okay? So autumnal wet wipe wreath. Oh, Carol, thank you. You're so kind. Whoa, I didn't expect the pen to be autumnal. Wet, wipe, wreath. I wasn't expecting the pen to be so thick. Uh, this is so pretty. I think that set is on back order in Australia. Oh, which one? Oh, this, the Shaded Summer. 
<clears throat> maybe it's because sorry i keep clearing my throat because <clears throat> I, I do lots of talking it makes me need to clear my throat i've just had an idea i really want to put very versailles scripty stamp on it <laughs> this is the brave or stupid moment <laughs> i'm feeling rather cheeky i am a cheeky stamper do it, do it. Deborah says, do it. She said to listen to my elders. <gasps> Another level. Oh, yes. Hello, Stampin. Great stamp set, that one. I hope it never retires. <laughs> so is Ellie. Oh, yeah. Just a teeny wincy bit. Looks so Victorian with the script. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mm. Does anybody else need a bit of scripts? <laughs> hmm, do you? I don't think so. I think maybe this one. Now, did I get rid of the colours? Was this one? <gasps> This one, wasn't it? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Let's just do a little bit in the corner and then we can... I think I will, because it feels like it's lacking. Steady on Neddy, <laughs> says, says Wendy. Love the bright and subtle colours. Right, hold your votes. Joanna's got her eyes closed. She's like, can't watch. I can't watch what she's doing. Or is it because I landed my stamp? Is that what you're covering your eyes for? Was it this one? Let's find out. There's my scrappy piece. See, it's a good job I started with a scrappy piece, isn't it? Because it's, it's come out a few times tonight. It is that one. Now, let's see. Yes, 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 yes. It's all about the go, go, go. Are you ready? Bam! Just needed a little summit, summit. Something, something. It's just what it needed. Subtle, subtle. Running out of juice. It's running out of juice. But that's okay, because we want it to be subtle. We don't want it to take over. That girl is on fire. <laughs> Says Ellie. Oh, yeah. Some mothers do have them. <laughs> okay. Step away. Step away. Step away from the stamps. Okay, now you get to vote. I'll show you first, okay? Now, I'm really tempted to do something with those. Okay, wait, 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 before you vote. Just bear with. I cut up a whole wadge of these blanks. Now I've got an idea. <gasps> just appease me a moment, just wait. Might not work. Might totally work, you just never know. How cool is that? Oh. 
Oh, yes. <laughs> Joanna Barnes has just done the mind blown emoji. Mind blown. Okay, now with my little planets, what you can do is just And you can okay, I held it in place a bit too long there. But you can die cut those out. Tell you what is even easier. You get yourself a block. Keep pausing, it keeps dragging a bit like that. Maybe something round. It's a bit green. Looks like a windbreaker for the beach. That with um, I'm going to do it freehand. So I've done this technique before where I've created a, a, my own rainbow paper, that's cool. Not my original idea, I will add. I've seen this before. <laughs> I did wrap it around a block before. So <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, there's more. Okay, so once you've done that, you can. Let's have a look. Wait for it. <laughs> Hi, Angie. Beautiful, but very messy on the hands. You can wear gloves, but where's the fun in that, eh? So using that same stamp. Could do a pretty silhouette. Oh, good night, Liz. Rest well. There we go. Chop it down. You're not really crafting until your fingers match the ink you're using. I mean, what am I like? They're going to be asking questions at work tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to stop there because it just gives you an idea of what you can do. Okay, so lots and lots of ideas there. You can use over your leftovers. To, these will probably dull down a little bit. And you, know, you can die cut these. You can die cut your leaf shapes or stump on top. So lots of fun. And then we used the stamp to get a blodgy image. Again, you could die cut that out if you wanted to. And now you can vote. So let's have a look. Which one did we start with? This was number one. This was number two. Can't stank, stand ink on hands, not a messy stamper. Yuck, says Darlene. Darlene, you, you've got to, look, you've got to embrace the ink. <laughs> number three it will come off the best way to do it is to wash your hair because they're natural oils apparently so place your votes while I just make some sense of my desk so I'm just going to grab out a big block and this is a great way to make sure that you don't lose your stamps just stick it onto your block 
and sometimes it means you can clean it all in one go then as well thankfully these stamps are a bit bigger so they're not prone to being lost but it just means I can chuck the rest of these blocks away not away you know put them away oh the vote's coming in sorry I'm busy all right hold on hold on you lot hold on let's have a look what we've got here then right I think they're gonna have to make their way to the bin now now that we've had plenty of play let's see let's see what have we got for our voting so that was one two and three so the votes are in. We've got three, two, one from Jackie, one, two, three from Cindy, two for Caroline, two, three, one. Two seems popular. Two, three, one for Karen, three for Linda, one, two, three for Elaine. Uh, Darlene likes two and three. I think it, a lot of the time it does depend on what shows up best on camera. Because um, in real life it's probably a bit bolder. Two, 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 wallpaper please. Oh yeah, Wendy, I can see that being your wallpaper. One, three, two for Diane. I've missed some. Ruth, just come on, I'd better hop off in a minute. One, uh, who else? Two, one, three. We've got a lot of two, one, three. So two, one, three. Interesting, interesting. Okay, that's such a gorgeous technique I may have to play tonight. So look, please, if you have um, a two for Angie and two, three, one for Glenna, Okay, right, I'm just going to turn around, oops, the daisy, pressing the button too many times. What was I going to say? Yes, if you are inspired by what I've made tonight and you're going to give this wet wipe technique a go with some really fun colours, please share it with me on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook, drop me an email, let me know what you've been up to with this technique, I'd love to see it. It's not original to me, um, I do have a host code, thank you Vicky, you're so good. You're like my little admin, aren't you? Um, the host code is on my Facebook page, but if you want to message me with an order, you can email me at stampinstarcreations.co.uk and I will type it in there. Pop, 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 pop. There we go. So if you want to drop me a message, you can. 132 for Carol, she's still voting. Thank you for your company. I think I've run over time. Ruth's like, forget it. I'm just starting my life now. So great to see you thank you so much for joining me today i'll be back next week and we'll try and maybe attempt a wreath if i forget all right oh ruthie oh my word fantastic such an imagination you rock girl thank you oh thank you galana bye wendy take care sweetie nice to see you thanks joanna thank you angie lovely to see you i hope you're keeping well lovely to see you bye gina nice to see you so many people on tonight you love number two. Oh, good. I think maybe I should chop it off and maybe like do a little giveaway. Maybe. How's about it? Leave me a comment afterwards. Um, because I've got eight pieces, I could like afford to maybe give away at least three. So um, <clears throat> if you're watching this on the replay, and maybe I'll leave it for a couple of weeks. So if people do want to do it, they've got time to comment. But remind me. Okay. Okay. Right. See ya. Take care. Lots of love. God bless. Bye.